What's up guys, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about going head to head and winning in one-on-one -on -one basketball. In this video today, we're going to cover how to win in a one-on-one -on -one game. But before we even get there, if you're watching me on YouTube right now, I need you to go ahead and click that link in the first line of the description. It's gonna send you straight to our website where all you have to do is enter your email address and we'll send you a free workout straight to that inbox today. Now let's discuss how you can beat your best friend or anybody else in a one-on-one -on -one game. Number one, you must know your strengths and weaknesses. If you're better at going to the right hand than you are going left, try to go to that right hand so you can score a lot easier. But then again, we want to work on getting comfortable with both hands so we have no weaknesses. If you're a better jump shooter, get your shot. Find a way to get your shot off. If you're better at driving to the basket, then drive to the basket and score. Now, what we're gonna go over in this video today is how to get a shot and how to get a layup. Again, know your strengths and weaknesses when playing a one-on-one -on -one game. The first one we're going to go over is how to get a layup when playing one-on-one. -on -one. So, I'm gonna start simply from this left wing. All we're going to do is attack our defender and try to get to the basket. You can use a simple jab and blow by or a complex move to get by your defender to score. What we're gonna do, I'm going to do a killer crossover to get by my defender and get to the rim. Killer crossover again is simple. Attack with one between the legs, cross back over and get to the rim. When you use these moves, make sure you're going at game pace to beat your defender, explode by them and get to the rim. So let's take a quick look in full speed how to get a layup in a one-on-one -on -one game. Now that we've seen what the move actually looks like, it's time to envision it with the defender. So this time I've brought out a trash can to act as my defender so I know what I'm going to be looking for when trying to get a layup in this drill. Now, why I brought it out, I want you to really think about why you're attacking to get to a layup. Number one, if a defender is backing off of you, always shoot a jump shot. Make them respect your jumper so then they have to climb into you and really pressure you and force you to drive. So, we're gonna act as if our defender is really up and pressuring us. So now he's kind of taking away my jump shot, so now I know I have to get to the rim and get a layup or an easy basket. So what we just did was the killer crossover. So if I see my defender is up and pressuring me, I wanna make a quick move and get by them. Again, if he's backing up, I will shoot a jump shot. But if the defender is up into you and pressuring you, go by them, use your speed, be creative with a combo move, any move that you want really to get by your defender to get an easy basket. So whenever the defender is up and pressuring you, go by and get to the rim. If they're backing up, knock down that jump shot of yours. Now we're gonna take a look at the same drill acting with our defender in front of us. Let's take a look. All right, now we've seen the drill to get by our defender and get a layup in one-on-one. -on -one. Now the next step is trying to get your jump shot. Like I said before, if your defender is backing off, make sure you rise up and knock down the jumper to get them to respect that jump shot of yours. Again, if they're up pressuring, blow by them. So now in this next drill, we're gonna get to our jump shot. I brought out the trash can again, so I want you to act as if your defender is now backing off of you. I know the trash can can't move, but all we're gonna act is, I'm coming down and our defender is backing up. The more they back up, look to rise right into your jump shot. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna attack, attack, in and out, pull up right to our shot. Get into your jumper quick. Act as if you're gonna push hard to get by your defender for a drive, stop on a dime, rise up and knock it down. So let's take a look, quick look and full speed at this drill on how to get your jumper in one-on-one -on -one basketball. Now I know these drills that you've just watched may be simple and may not seem very important, 
but these are ways that will make your game a lot easier if you use them and when you're playing one-on-one. -on -one. Now, before you get out there and even think about practicing these moves and drills and get ready for a one-on-one -on -one game, I need you to hit that subscribe button right now as we release new ways to score every single week. If you're watching me on YouTube right now, go ahead and click that link in the first line of the description. It's gonna send you straight to our website. All you have to do is enter your email address and we'll send you a free workout today. Now, when you're playing your one-on-one -on -one games, remember your strengths. Know what you're good at, know if you can become a great shooter or get to the rim and score on your defender every single time. Use these drills we just worked on to improve your one-on-one -on -one game. So the next time you play your best friend, you will hold the crown. Now until I see you again, get out there, work on your one-on-one -on -one game, and always keep hooping.